Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I'm Anna and I'm helping you grow beautiful and healthy plants. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about one secret that plant stores, especially garden centers and greenhouses do not want you to know because this will increase their revenue, obviously. So let's talk about that. Well, you may have remembered this Peace Lily, the one that I have saved, I have a video about it, how I save it, what was the condition before and after, like now. You can definitely go watch it if you want to see from what it grew, basically. It was almost all black and rotten and now look at this. Look at this new beautiful leaf. It's adorable. So this one is saved and it's amazing, right? Right. So look at this one. This is a variegated peace lily and look at this. Here we have even a bud and it's flowering. And also this plant looks healthy, right? Wrong. This one is in such a bad condition because I have removed so many leaves. And this plant is relatively new for me because I've bought this maybe one or two months ago and it was so lush. It has maybe double uh, the leaves that I have now. Uh, you can also notice something that is not right with this plant. So look at this leaf. And if you have seen how many leaves I have already removed, so this one, this one is not looking great. Let me see. Yeah, I have removed so many of them. Unfortunately, I realized that actually this is a good thing to show you. Already it was late when I realized that because I have removed already half of the leaves that you see now. But the, uh, the problem here is, and the secret, what these garden centers don't want you to know, is that when we buy our plants, let me hold it like this to show you better in a second, but basically any plant that we buy from garden centers, greenhouses, uh, the plant stores, we think that, well, they are specialized in growing plants. We buy them. We also buy a beautiful pot, an external pot for them. We put them directly in this nursing pot into this beautiful external pot. And we enjoy we looking at them, growing them, watering them, cleaning them. That's a lot of work and takes also a lot of energy, but also gives back us this energy. However, after a couple of months, the plant dies. And so many people wonder that, oh, okay, so plants don't grow in my place or I can take care of the plants. I should never grow plants, but this is what I don't want to happen to you. That's why I record this video for you now to explain what causes this. Number one reason. You may think it's overwatering. Well, that's part of the problem. The thing is that even if you buy a cactus from a garden center, it will not be in a sandy soil. Well, most probably it will not be in a sandy soil because for garden centers, it's easier to have this kind of mixture where it uh, contains moisture, uh, humidity for a longer period of time. They don't need to water it very often. And also the uh, components that they have in the soil basically are uh, in, uh, created, the mixture create, is created in such a way so that the plants grow faster. But when we bring these plants home and we even we water them once a month, and it's not that you overwater them. The problem is that the soil that the plant comes in stays soggy, stays wet for so long. When the top uh, layer of the soil gets dry, you still think that, okay, now is the time to water, you water it. But inside it's absolutely wet. Oops, like I have watered this plant two weeks ago and we have 25 degrees Celsius here. Look at the bottom. It's still so soggy and there is no water here. So the plant is not sitting in the water. However, you can see how wet it is. The roots are even going out of the holes already. It's definitely uh, maybe the time to repot or maybe even the plant just grows the roots outside of the hole. Sometimes it happens and it should not necessarily be the reason that, you know, the, the pot is already full. That's why uh, the roots are going out of the holes. It can be just completely newly transplanted, replanted, repotted plant, and then it will still grow roots outside of the holes. But the problem here is that you need to always repot your plants 
into fresh soil that will be the best mixture for a specific plant so if it's a ficus if it's a yucca if it's a dracaena you need to choose a special soil that fits them if it's peace lily you should choose a different uh, potting mix if it's hoya if it's anthurium they all require different uh, components different um, soil uh, for, for the proper growth and well I don't talk even about succulents and cactuses that need just sandy soil but the problem here or how to prevent it basically I don't mean that whenever you buy the plant you immediately repot it that will be also wrong because when you bring the plant from a greenhouse where it was growing in a very bright area the air humidity was very high you don't have these conditions in your place that's why your plant needs to have a couple of days to get used to get adjusted to your environment to your air your humidity your everything basically wait for maybe one two weeks if you see that nothing is going on the plant is feeling okay then you can repot it and you need to remove the soil and plant it in fresh soil but again choose the right mixture so that you don't do the double work and you don't of course plant peace lily in a sandy soil or a cactus in, a, in an aeroid soil well Choose it um, according to the plant, but definitely repot all the plants that you buy from garden centers, greenhouses, local stores into fresh soil. This will help prevent overwatering. So it's not you overwatering, this can happen of course as well, but the thing is that the soil stays soggy forever and this causes root rot, not you and don't worry about this one flower of course yes definitely I do recommend repotting your plants when it's not blooming because then the flowers can wilt a bit earlier it may even stop uh, producing buds however in this case if I wait I may lose the plant because as I have mentioned I have cut already so many leaves and it was such a big bush and this is what's left from it look at it these leaves are not even uh, healthy anymore and this when you see brown tips and then yellow lines going growing into the center of the leaf slowly this is a sign that it's over watered but again it's not me over watering but the fact that the soil stays always wet for long time for two weeks this basically prevents the access of the air to the roots and that's what the reason is and in this case if i wait for the flowers to bloom and fade away and only then repot well this plant flowers for six seven months and then it will be too late and also i would like to repot it now in a fresh soil in a proper soil that fits this plant better and it will even encourage and help the plant grow more buds more flowers bigger flowers not only just one bud but i will have several and if you're wondering which soil i'm gonna repot this piece lily i will record a separate video for you so that it's not very long but i also will put the link of that soil mixture in the description of this video in case you want to go and check it out please do so and wait for another video about repotting i will show you how exactly you can do it so that you don't damage any single root and the plant will not even feel that it's repotted of course it will feel the fresh soil nutrients and more space and it will grow even better and of course you can also subscribe to the newsletter that i share with you once a month with all the updates all the tips that i share with, with you throughout the month in a colorful plenty nice format so stay passionate about plants share the video with your friends that rhymed and i will see you in the next one